Hi, this is Rusty Howes with the Highlands Digital Media Lab. We are excited to be here at the Natural Products Expo West and fortunate enough to have a moment to chat with Peggy O'Mara, the pioneer who started Mothering Magazine 35, 35 years ago. Years yeah. ago. Yeah, for sure. And so why don't you, a lot of people are obviously familiar with Mothering Magazine, and some are less, but the kind of there's this story of how did it all begin, and why don't you just kind of give us a little snapshot of Mothering and why you guys care about what you do. Well, we started in 1976, and we were formed really out of the generation of folks who were going back to the land who wanted to discover a more natural lifestyle, who were actually the pioneers, I think, of this very event, of this Natural Products Expo. Um, and so our moms then were asking questions like, how do I do things more naturally as a parent? And that was before there were a lot of homeopathic remedies out there or cloth diapers or anything. So we've really been instrumental in kind of creating this whole marketplace. And, you know, we just wanted to do what was right with our kids. We just wanted to do the most natural thing with our kids. And I think now that has expanded to a lot of other parents, probably the majority of our culture really, asking those questions about how can I lead a more natural life now that I have kids and now that I'm so motivated to do that. Well, I think what's great is you can kind of speak to that. I know for a lot of people, I didn't grow up in this. And so kids and, and parenthood bring something. Can you speak That's a little bit more specifically to perhaps a parent who might just be beginning that journey and, and or maybe a specific part as what facilitated you bringing that journey? Mm, I think again for me it was wanting to lead a more simple life and it was really, and I think it is for me and for other parents, it is really when you have children you begin to reflect on your whole lifestyle in general. You know, how am I gonna, am I gonna paint the kids room with uh, non-toxic paints? Um, what kind of food am I gonna feed my children? Um, what kind of natural remedies am I going to use or remedies in general? So you begin to look at everything with new eyes once you have children. So that was my journey and I think the journey of parents today. And I think when I look at my experience, I'm now so many years down the road, my children have grown up, but I just started with one thing at a time, you know. What was one thing I could do? So first it was food, you know, wanted to eat more naturally, so I started just trying things. And I would have tofu like in the back of the refrigerator, throw it out throw it out again, I'd buy it again, I'd throw it. Finally, I learned how to use tofu. You know, just perseverance, I think. Perseverance in that direction of natural life and believing that there is something that you can find that's out there because there is. So again, with natural products, for me with homeopathy, it was like I didn't know what it was, but I knew that my kids had a lot of things that they didn't need a doctor for. You know, maybe they just have the little sniffles or a cough. They needed something to soothe them. And I wanted to find out those things. So I started just when something would happen, if my kids had a cold, I went to this place, I thought, well, I'll get the remedies. I got a homeopathic medicine at home book, and I, and I got the remedy that was recommended, and I tried that one, and that worked, and so that became part of my repertoire. And then the next time something happened, I tried something else. And so you really have to just uh, give yourself time and patience to build a natural life, but to not be deterred by the fact that you are sometimes going to fall back into the unnatural life, and you just got to start over. Don't, you know, don't beat yourself up. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, just start over again and try something new. Well, I think that's great. I mean, that's that I think can be applied to like so many right things. Now. Well, because sometimes how am I the best parent or, yeah. or how do I do what's right and all these things? And so if I understand you're saying if you were to talk to someone who's just beginning this now, yeah. don't freak out because it's obviously it's there's tons perfect. of options. Yeah. Yeah. Just start with one thing. Just take yeah. baby steps. And the other thing I think I just want to say I appreciate about you guys is this this holistic it's not just about the paint or not just about um, the food, no, but it not. also goes into how, how are we as parents, how are we as people? And yeah. I think that's the kind of the common tie we love is living naturally and healthy in a, in a much broader sense than even just as a consumer. So yeah, kudos sure. to you the for lifestyle. helping people yeah. be yeah. better parents. Thank you, know? you. good, I and, hope so. And I, I you know, pray that you guys all have the best for the future for your Thank years you, you and, and many years to come. So, Thank you very much. From Expo West, it's been our pleasure. Thank you, Rusty. And uh, we hope that you guys maybe share us. What are some of your questions? Or if you're just beginning this journey, what's something you're like, where do I start? What do I do? And nutrition. And, and we are going to be actually having more and more of these talks with both people who've done it and people who are at the very beginning to try to help you live healthy in a natural way. So from Expo West, thank you for your time and thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, Rusty.